And Coach is charged with OVI after police say he ran into a utility pole, splitting it in two. Parts of the vehicle were left at the scene after he fled, but police were able to quickly track him down. Sydney Canty shows us what happened. It was 218 Sunday when, according to police, Liberty School's Board of Education Vice President Christopher Brookbank got behind the wheel of his SUV and slammed into a utility pole. Watch as Brookbank's car comes swinging around the corner, striking the pole, then later taking off. The pole was severely damaged and Brookbank disappeared. After Brookbank struck this pole that has since been repaired, police were able to track him down because he abandoned his vehicle just two miles up the road. The police report continues. Officers received a call about a damaged Buick that had been left on the side of the road airbags deployed and no passenger. When police arrived, they found Brookbank stumbling in the roadway, smelling strongly of alcohol and heavily slurring his speech. Police say Brookbank told them he was on his way home from a bar and was, quote, drunk, but refused a field sobriety test. The report continues. Brookbank also stated he wouldn't have left the scene if he knew he'd be charged for it. In addition to his board position, Brookbank is a soccer coach for the school district. There's been no word on if he's in jeopardy of losing either of those positions. Brookbank is charged with OVI and leaving the scene of an accident, among other things. He entered a not guilty plea and will be back in court January 24th. With more local news, I'm Sydney Canty.